Dear Diary. <sighs> well, it's been quite hectic these past few weeks. With the increasing number of people from all over coming to visit and stay with us, to dealing with the aftermath of the war. The darkness and danger that we faced out there. Though it is in the past, we are still feeling the effects of it to this day, as it still grips to the hearts of even the core members of the Council. And we are not yet out of the woods, as it were. All this leaves us with the dilemma of, what now? Where do we go from here? Do we continue to endlessly push and push, fighting even greater battles than the last? Or instead, do we take the time to heal our wounds and take stock of what we still have? Indeed, madness has descended on all of Cold Reed's members these past few weeks. With pressure from this realm and beyond bedeviling us all. But I believe now is in fact the time to heal, to let down our weary guard and try to rest. We can't all work forever. Grim, this is my diary! No peeking! Or using your magic to interject! No boys allowed! Memento mori, my dear. I will never be too far away. As the youth of today would say, tick tock. No, I've never used it, and I don't think that's why they say that. Stop ruining my mysterious nature, okay? But as I said, we can't all work forever. <laughs> you can't, maybe, but I find myself to be as strong and motivated as ever. Oh my gods, I can hear the look on your face right now. All right. Maybe not as ever. Maybe half as ever. Fine, I'm not. We all aren't. <sighs> Perhaps you are right, Reaper. A little slowing of the pace might not hurt too much. <laughs> but I don't want to stop or fall behind. I don't want people to think I'm slacking off when I've put just as much work into this as they have. I... I... And you won't. But you must slow down from time to time, else you walk too close to the fickle mistress of burnout, which we have learned about from lessons past. You speak as though your friends won't understand, yet they go through the same things as you, and often must fight the same demons. But I... I feel a sense of... Responsibility. I started us down this path, back when I welcomed our first travellers to Coldreed. I could never live with myself if I let my friends down. And I cannot point to a single time where you have. Well, now you're just being a charmer. Death has no reason to lie. Hmm? So, a karma story, maybe. About... What, exactly? I've never been one to write a tranquil tale. Can you think of nothing? Well... What about a story about... Four voice actors from two sides of the world? Their names will be... Zamudi, Alderino, Renara Hawk, and Princess Pashley. Our intrepid, and bold, and some may say brave, explorers came together, through thick and thin, to share their knowledge and experience, however long or short that may be. And though they may not claim to be professionals, except from last week's episode where you all did, Shh, that doesn't count! <clears throat> and though they do not claim to be professionals, they came together to form a podcast that would reach out and help all those who may need that extra nudge. How does that sound? That sounds wonderful, my dear storyteller. <sighs> okay, right. How hard can it be? 
Let's do this. breath i didn't hear you enter i practicing your aim it's improving next time i'll aim for the head so taking to your new administrative duties well well define well ever since princess pashley left to go on her diplomatic mission my role as dame regent has been going as well as a fireball in close quarters combat I haven't the first clue how to run a kingdom! Taxes? I have to calculate taxes now? I'm English, goddammit! I don't know how to calculate my own taxes, let alone a kingdom's worth! Well, in situations like this, it's always good to- uh, 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 Hey, Bernara, um, I need to, uh, put in an order, um, for, uh, let me see, uh, half a dozen more anvils, uh, about ten pounds of lard, and perhaps a new apprentice. There seems to have been a, um, <clears throat> an accident. What in the name of all that is holy do you need lard for? Well, apparently it's a common lubricant in most workshops. It is, I swear! I, um, I need it for, uh... I don't need to know what you guys lubricate in your spare time. Can't you see I'm a bit tied up here? Ah, uh, yes. On the topic of needing assistance, there is a small matter to which I need to... <laughs> ah! Oh, ah, Renara. Just who I needed to see. I'm really glad I didn't end up inside your desk. Anyway, I came across this rather old and... Very rare manuscript. That details a pretty potent warding spell. Yes, and? The components that require to cast the spell are extremely expensive. There it is. I was hoping that maybe I could perhaps use some of the treasury's funds to obtain them. Please? Oh, no, Beardo. I got here first. That money is going towards my apprentice, anvils, and lard. I thought you took your training anvils off years ago. Mm. Apprentice and anvils and lard. Commas, Zamudi. They save lives. Unlike your poor apprentice that I saw get flattened earlier. <laughs> yeah, well, at least I don't look like I hang out with the Crypt Keeper. Enough, both of you. Managed to get Renaro into a stun lock. <laughs> Unfortunately, I have one more thing to add. Oh, gods, no. Well, I was out on my usual rounds, tending to the newly departed bodies, as always. Get, get to, to the, the point! point! And one of them just woke up. Was it your work or Ravenmane's? Because if he's back. That's the thing. There was no necromancy at all. He just came back to life. Oh, that's not how it works. Uh, I really shouldn't be surprised. What is it now? The third time the laws of magic have been broken? Yes, well, he's standing outside if you want to talk to him. I'll just go get him. I saw the guy outside, but I... I just thought he was part of the furniture, you know? How do I examine a man without being too intrusive? Ooh, perhaps it's time to test out my new- Not in my new office, Zamudi. I'm not cleaning him off the walls if things go sour. We will do what any sane, normal human being would do. Ask him a million questions until he gets annoyed with us and leaves. I wouldn't get annoyed at all. That sounds like a great idea. Oh, uh, <laughs> hey. Hello. You all seem like lovely people. They are. Jeff, this is the Council of Coldreed. Here we would like to ask you questions about life, the universe, and everything. Oh, I know the answer to this. It's 42. Um, wrong universe, Jeff. What? Oh, gosh, it does all get so confusing sometimes. 
One day I'm sailing past Niagara Falls, then I'm in... Um, where am I, exactly? Well now, this is something we can help with. Take a seat, everyone, and allow us to explain exactly what you've gotten yourself into. I wonder what story she's going to tell us this time. I bet it's going to be about dragons, or monsters, or monster fighting dragons. Monsters fighting dragons? Are you stupid? Everyone knows that only knights fight dragons and the council fights monsters. Duh. But I'm sure some of the councilors are knights too. I bet Commander Grimm has killed loads of dragons before. No. But I do have a cousin who owns one. Whoa! Whoa. That's so cool! I told you dragons were real. <laughs> so, um... Mr. Grimm, what story is Renara going to tell us tonight? Is it a scary one? Will there be monsters? Um, there is a monster, but he hasn't been scary for a very long time. You have nothing to fear, my dears. Tonight's monster is locked away, deep, deep in the dark, away from all the good things of the world. But now it's time to settle in, little ones, for tonight's story is an important one. Come now, my child, and listen well to a tale thought lost where dreamers dwell. Sit tight and sit still, be as quiet as can be, for the tale of the and the tabby. Mouse and the tabby? I thought that was going to be a monster. But to a mouse, a cat is a monster. Shh! Will you two be quiet? I'm trying to listen. In all my years, I've never been told to shut up. This tale would take place in the land of the judged Where cruel barbs would spring And the earth would weep blood And caught in a game This little mouse ran Every footstep in line with the gods' plans Prince 
Marking the stones for all time Then the thorns cracked the stonework And took hold of the mouse Her tormentor patient Prepared to Within the tabby's eyes was pure blackness. Finally, he said, I have you now. The mouse glared back in defiance as she swore her final vow. I'd rather be free in the darkness she said, then have my soul caged in the light. The brambles that trapped her were her salvation. And then, with one final act, the mouse's spirit Study. Oh, come on. Do you know how long it's going to take to buff out that scratch? Of all the places to call a meeting, this is certainly the most unconventional. <laughs> Zamudi, this is grim we're talking about. When has anything about him been conventional? Thank you for coming so quickly. I promise you the need is dire. Grim, stop being so grim. What's going on? Why are we at the edge of your territory rather than your house? Follow me. I need to show rather than tell you. But this is Renar's Grove. Are we even allowed? She never lets anyone in there. This is more important than simple matters of privacy. She'll forgive us our trespass this time. What the... I don't think water's meant to be that color. It's pitch black. And it's... thick. This river provides for all of Cold Reed. This is a disaster! Now you see why I summoned you. I haven't seen Renara since before this tank began. <laughs> oh, God! Oh, it smells... flammable! Uh, something is seriously messed up here. Renara wouldn't have willingly let this come through her home. 
Oh, we need to find her. Agreed. The river heads into the grove. Perhaps she's battling it further in. Come on. Gr Grim, slow down. My sandals. Can't keep you up. You know how much this armor weighs? What in by the God. What gods? in Gandalf's Renara! Word? What happened to her? It sort of looks like a stasis pod. The grove's almost grown around her. The glass. Where did the glass come from? Her skin. Her eyes. She... She looks dead. But she isn't yet. Though whatever's happened to the river, it's slowly killing her. Maybe if I... Take one more step, and I'll put an arrow through your skull. One for each of you. I'm sorry. What? You heard me. Unless you want to test me, I suggest you heed my warnings. Step back. <laughs> who the hell are you to make demands of us? Do you know who we are? I don't think yelling at the woman that has an arrow trained on you is the best idea, Drino. As far as I'm concerned, you're three strangers stumbling into a place you shouldn't be with the intent to harm the only thing holding all of Cold Reed together. I am sworn to guard the river's heart, and I will do so to my dying breath. Look, there's no need for any violence. Let us start with introductions. I am Zamuni, the wizard, founder of the Cold Reed Council. This is Durino, the- The blacksmith, chief armorer, and member of the Cold Reed Council. And I'm Commander Grimm. Leader of the armies of Cold Reed, Lord of the Dead, advisor to the Council. And the only reason I walk these plains is because of that woman. Which leads me back to my question. Who the hell are you? I am Misty Rose, River Guardian of this grove and Chief Ranger of Renara's Hold. Renara mentioned the Council before, but she never described you. Now that everything's a little calmer... Could you tell us what happened to our friend? Well, first you should know, this didn't just happen overnight. And no, she didn't tell you guys about it because she believed she could handle this on her own. And at the time, the threat didn't seem so severe. Yep. Yeah, yeah, that, that sounds, sounds like her. Okay. Anyway, after a few days, we rangers started to notice Renara getting weaker. Started off small, getting out of breath, using more magic than normal. Then over a period of a few weeks, we noticed the river getting darker. And as the sludge began to appear, she just began to wither. That was when we realized she was connected to this river. I see. Renara's magic is powerful. So whatever could do this to her must be serious. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we got that, Thomas Dedison. Yes, well... Do you mind explaining this, for want of a better word, coffin? We built it to preserve her. This pod keeps her locked in time. Though it took all the magic we had left. This dark river is leeching our power, like it did to hers. Chronomancy. I see. You've done well to preserve her. I only hope the taint hasn't spread beyond the- Hey! I thought I heard you lo- I didn't think you guys got out of the castle much. Friend of yours? Yes, he is. Now please stop pointing arrows at everyone you meet. Oh goodness gravy, is that Renara? This must be where the whole gosh darn thing is coming from. The whole damn what now? It's like the beginning of the battle for Cold Reed all over again. Well, at least for me it is. All the crops are dying. Whatever this black sludgy stuff is, it's leaching into the ground and ash and everything that's growing. Ashing? Yeah, it's like they're dying from natural causes from what I can tell. But it's like way too fast. They're decaying. Rotten. It's accelerating time. That is a very rare power indeed. Grim, why do you gotta be so ominous and foreboding all the time? If it's spreading into the ground, then we need to find where it's coming from and put a stop to it. Now. I'm not leaving Renara's side. Then remain here and guard her. We will find the source of this dark magic. 
Oh yeah, squad time. Let's go. Then I said, are you crazy? You might be able to throw carrots and sand, but not pumpkins. Cause you know, it's 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 very simple. Pumpkins need a lot of uh, of Oh, Lordy Lou. It's killed everything. The hinterlands. There's nothing here anymore that still lives. Yeah, well, who the hell is that then? Why, hello! Fancy meeting you out here. Do we know you? No, not at all. Never met in our lives, or is it my life, or even your life? But the point still stands. It is nice to see some friendly faces out here. Oh, don't tell me this is more time magic. I don't know. I feel like I do know her from somewhere, though. So, uh, hermit lady, do, do you know what's going on around here? Oh, yes, I know exactly what's happening. Oh, you wanted me to tell you. Well... Yeah, yeah that, that's kind of what I was A fallen for. bard and a man long past his sell-by date stumbled through these lands, back when everything was still living. Bard? Man long past his sell... Ravenmane, Matt. At first, they seemed to wander aimlessly. I should know, I do it for a living. Plus, I watched them for a time. But then they found something. I couldn't quite tell what, but... Then two became three, and the rest was history. He must have found the source of Renar's power. That's why she couldn't fight them off. Oh, Ren. But wait, what do you mean two became three? The third one was a tricky one. Uh, couldn't quite tell who or when. His face was unknowable, and I would know. Time does tend to mess with one's face. Time. I knew only one person who could mess with time like that. But he's long gone. Not gone long enough, I think. And that's not how time works, Grim. You know my name? Of course, though we are yet to meet. Or is that now? We've just met. Well, hello! Oh gosh, no, did I just black out? Are we starting over again? Ah, then if we're just meeting, I need to tell you something really important. What? The Dark Trinity have tainted the heart of the river. They are draining the lands of all forms of magic, energy, life, even. The Man of Matt is the Conjurer. Raven is the War Master. And the third is the mind in which the plan was forged and taught. I know this man. You do indeed. <laughs> Tempus. Bingo! Yahtzee! Ding, ding, ding! First prize! Tempus Fugit. <laughs> Are you sure this isn't getting out of hand, Matt? A few things might have changed, but the end result will still be the same. If you're sure, as long as he isn't playing with us, the Cold Reeds Council has to suffer. And they will. Everything will work out as long as we stick to the plan. What plan? He's flying by the seat of his pants if he's even wearing any today. He may have some quirks, but don't we all? If your quirk is being undead, then we both have that in spades. <laughs> Raven, trust me, this will work. Trusting you is what got me into this mess. Shh, keep it down, he'll hear you. I bet you anything he's sitting behind that God's damned desk twiddling his thumbs right now. A fool's bet, Raven. One I will not take. Good hour to you, young gentlemen. Glad tidings, I hope you bring. 
One, it's good morning. And two, I may be young, but he's 5,000 years old. Three, no such thing, and four, that's a mere drop in the pond. We've successfully weakened the Council by taking Renara out of play. With her incapacitated, the barriers protecting Cold Reed's borders have fallen. Brilliant! Just as I planned. And we executed. Yes, yes. The time for chopping off heads will come at the end, not a moment before. Now, Raven, do you have news to report? With Renara gone, and the river poisoned, Many of Cold Reed's adversaries, even a few turncoats, have joined our cause. Our numbers grow with each passing day. We've already passed 20,000 men. Well, I must say, Raven, you really have outdone yourself. That's a lot more than you boys had the last time you failed! Mm -hmm. Of course, this is your chance to make up for that. The troop numbers are a start. But it's not enough. Even without their little pixie. Damn! That bloody hurts, you know. We will lose too many troops to that damn magician and his cheap tricks. Is that Renara? Ah, yes, my new bobble. I think I'll have her pride of place on my tree. I'll tell you where to stick your bloody tree. Right up your... Yes, well, that's quite enough of that. But what? about Grim. Send me. I have the souls of his fallen. I can take him. And run the risk of you failing again? I will not let death cheat me a second time. No, I need someone more competent than you neophytes. Meet the newest member of our council. He is a wraith. That is all you two need to know. I shall not fail. Your brilliant plan is to send the vengeful spirit of a dead man up against death itself. Are you actually as mad as you seem? Yes. Because the living did so well last time. So, what is your plan, Wraith? How can you defeat him where we could not? Your focus was divided, tainted by anger, or perhaps even... fear. I have no such weakness. You speak with such venom, Raven. But your vengeance lacks substance, like your defenses when your friends abandoned you. And you, Matt, your confidence does little to hide your unwillingness to do what is necessary. Perhaps those old friendships still run deep. Both of you have tried, and both of you have failed dismally and the shame should follow you to the grave. That Grim will no doubt prepare for you if he catches sight of you again. I am the wind that carries the wails of widows whose babes have been snatched by the wolves. I am the terror that engulfs the hearts of the living as the news of death comes knocking at their door. I am the screams of warriors who watch helplessly as their friends fall in battle. Battles he led the charge for. I am vengeance, and I come for the man who all must meet. Grim created the instrument of his own undoing. And all have paid their fare, except for him. It is time that death paid his toll.